and starting for the Bearcats. At forward, number 10, Wes Dreamer. At forward, number 33, Ryan Hawkins. At forward, number 42, Luke Waters. At guard, number one, Diego Bernard. And at guard, number 12, Trevor Hudgens. The Ichabods are led by Brett Ballard and assisted by Jonathan Rainey and Jordan Banks. The Bearcats are coached by Ben McCollum and assisted by Zach Schneider. And welcome back to Aberdeen, South Dakota for the 2021 NCAA Division II Central Region Tournament. Washburn University against Northwest Missouri State University. Another MIAA battle for the right to go to the Central Region Championship. Good evening, my name is David Brown. I got the call for you here from Wax Arena in Aberdeen. The top seed in the host school, Northern State, they moved on to the Region Championship with a 77-65 win over MSU Moorhead earlier this evening. That was a rematch of the NSIC Tournament Championship. Now we get a rematch of the MIAA Tournament Championship between the Ichabods of Washburn and the Bearcats of Northwest Missouri State. And if it's anything like the first three matchups between these teams, this one will go right down to the wire. We are underway. Ichabods win the tap. Washburn in the road gray uniforms. Northwest Missouri State in the home whites. We're going to reach in foul immediately here on Diego Bernard. These two teams met three times this season. The regular season games both went into overtime. Washburn won the first. Northwest Missouri State won the second. And fans of both teams remember what happened just eight days ago. Tyler Guyman for Washburn. Half-court buzzer beater to win at the MIAA Tournament Championship. That three goes in and out for Tyler Nelson. Hudgens chases down a loose ball for the Bearcats. Because there was no NCAA tournament in 2020, Northwest Missouri State is still technically the defending national champions, having won it all in 2019. That pass a little too far for Hudgens, but he recovers. Hudgens, most outstanding player of the 2019 Elite Eight. That three is short by Bernard. Loose ball tapped out of bounds. Our officials confer, and it will go over to Washburn. First matchup between these teams, a two-point victory for Washburn back on January 7th. When they met on February 20th, it was a three-point win for Northwest Missouri State in overtime. And then, of course, the MIAA Tournament Championship just eight days ago. No love lost between these two. Guyman off on his three. Here's Bernard. Shot clock under 10 for Trevor Hudgens. Hudgens driving baseline, the kick to Bernard. Shot clock winding down, Hawkins has to put it up. West Dreamer, the offensive rebound and the putback. Northwest Missouri State strikes first. Nelson, dump inside, and going to the free throw line will be Jace Williams for Washburn. So Williams going to the line for two. First one off the back iron. Williams just five points in their victory over Missouri Western State in the first round here the other night. And our officials are conferring about what I'm not exactly sure.
They were clarifying the foul was on Luke Waters for Northwest Missouri State. Williams goes one for two. Mentioned it on Saturday. Jace Williams, multi-sport athlete at Washburn, also plays tight end for the football team. Rare to see both the football and basketball combo at the collegiate level. Waters driving inside. Turn around in the lane, left it short. Guyman driving baseline. Nelson, Will McKee in the corner for three. Bernard skies for the rebound for the Bearcats. Two to one, three minutes in. And Hawkins was on the end line. Or excuse me, Hudgens was on the end line. Hawkins fed Hudgens. <laughs> kind of a slow start here for both teams. And we're going to get Diego Bernard with his second foul. Bernard, the MIAA's Defensive Player of the Year. And he has to go to the bench with two early personals. Byron Alexander, number 11, checking in for the Bearcats as they clean up a wet spot here on the floor. But two quick fouls on Diego Bernard for Northwest Missouri State. Guyman. Here's Tyler Nelson, step back three. Off the back iron, McKee the offensive rebound. Lewis, he rattles in a three from the top of the key. Jalen Lewis, one of the most lethal shooters in all of Division II, cashes in. Here's Hudgens. Baseline, Waters, and one opportunity for Luke Waters. <laughs> Foul committed by Nelson for Washburn. Waters completes the three-point play. Nelson got cut off back to McKee. Lewis. Double comes. Williams caught in the corner. Tried to find a cutting McKee out of bounds. Great pressure defense by the Bearcats. Timeout on the floor. 15.38 to go in the first half. Northwest Missouri State 5, Washburn 4. I'm 
A little more than four minutes into this Central Region semifinal. Northwest Missouri State 5, Washburn 4. Just like the NSIC rematch we had earlier. Fourth meeting of the season between Washburn and Northwest Missouri State. Hudgens, third call, foul on Lewis. Jalen Lewis picks up the personal. Both teams struggling from the field, just three of a combined 10 to start here. Hudgens got cut off, feeds Waters. Waters found a cutting Alexander, the bounce goes to Dreamer. The ricochet works in the Bearcats' favor. Here's Guyman. Shot clock down the 10 for Tyler Guyman. McKee in the corner for three. Dreamer with the board for the Bearcats. Hudgens. Working off a screen. Back out to Hawkins. Skip over to Dreamer. We get a push here against Johnny Clossing. Raven Carter. Connor Defabok checking in for the Ichabods. Hawkins kick out to Waters. Straight on three goes in and out. Alexander the offensive rebound. Bearcats reset. Hudgens directing traffic. Shot clock winding down for Alexander. Has to put it up and hits the turnaround. Byron Alexander beats the buzzer. Deep three for Tyler Guyman is off. Carter flying in for the offensive board. Here's Johnny Clossing. Tried to find Carter. Carter went a little too far. And a 30-second timeout called here by Brett Ballard for Washburn. 9-4 Northwest Missouri State over Washburn here. Six and a half plus minutes into this one. West Dreamer with four points, Luke Waters with three, Byron Alexander for two. The ironic part of this start for the Bearcats is that neither of their top three scorers have a point in this ball game. Hawkins leads Northwest Missouri State, averaging 22 a contest. He's 0 of 1. Trevor Hudgens averages 20, the MIAA Player of the Year, and he doesn't even have a field goal attempt in this game. And then Diego Bernard picked up some early fouls. 
He averages a little more than 12 points a contest. But Northwest Missouri State getting it done with the quote-unquote others right now, which is a good sign if you are a Bearcat fan. Washburn, meanwhile, three points from Jalen Lewis, the other point from a Jace Williams free throw. And we have a 9-4 Bearcat lead over the Bods. Hudgens spinning in the lane, back out to Ryan Hawkins for three. Claws and clears for Washburn. Guyman driving all the way, off the rim. Hudgens. Hawkins a straight on three. That splashes in for Ryan Hawkins. They're going to officially call it a long two. Nelson driving baseline. Closing on the block, offensive foul. Wes Dreamer took the charge for Northwest Missouri State. And Clausing has to go to the bench, that's his second personal. Clossing led the Ichabods in scoring in their victory over Missouri Western State on Saturday. Hawkins open again. Buries the triple. Everything going the Bearcats way right now. They're up 15 to four. Williams got the step stolen by Hudgens. Trevor Hudgens in transition for the lay-in. Timeout, Ichabods. Brett Ballard wants to talk it over. 17 to four. Northwest Missouri State. All the momentum right now over Washburn. And 24 to go in the first half. This one has been all Northwest Missouri State. The Bearcats lead the Ichabods from Washburn 17 to 4. Here's Defabaugh. Ichabods working it around the perimeter. Now Lewis, that shot won't count, got fouled on the drive in. 
Byron Alexander called for the personal foul. Williams looking for someone, finds Lewis. Jalen Lewis rejected by Hawkins. Guyman gets it back with the shot clock under 10. Guyman, the drive, the hang, left it short. Tenacious defense by the Bearcats. Hawkins thought about the long three, now drives and kicks. Hudgens, that three is short. Dreamer, the offensive rebound, the putback, and the foul. Wes Dreamer, just a sophomore for this Bearcat squad. Tyler Guyman will take a seat here for Washburn. Dreamer completes the three-point play. 20 to four. Offensive foul on Washburn. Officials checking the score. The scoreboard says 20 to 6. It should be 20 to 4. Again, some confusion with the scoreboard. It's 20 to 4. The scoreboard says 20 to 6. When they were doing the three-point play for Dreamer, I think they accidentally put the score for Washburn. And they have finally fixed it here in the arena. 20 to four is our score. We should have the confusion cleared up right now. Hawkins, Ryan Hawkins is on fire. Third three of the ball game for Hawkins. Guyman, back to Lewis, off on his three. We're only midway through this first half, but Washburn approaching the danger zone here. Northwest Missouri State in complete control. Hudgens, Hawkins. Heat check rattles in for Ryan Hawkins. It is an onslaught right now. McKee poked away by Hawkins. I think Northwest Missouri State might be upset with the way the MIAA Tournament Championship ended. Just a hunch. Guyman throws it in. It's saved from going into the backcourt by Defabaugh. McKee, back out Lewis. Badly needed three for Jalen Lewis and the Ichabods.
Hudgens. No one picked him up and he laid it in. Whistle on the drive. Foul on Northwest Missouri State. Fouls on Hudgens. Here's Lewis. Guyman. Guyman tried to put it in with the left, missed everything. The drive. We're going to get a reach in foul here on Washburn. Jace Williams with the personal. And we will pause for a timeout on the floor. 7.42 to go in the first half. No, it's not football, it's basketball. 28 to 7. Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. to go in the first half, 28 to seven. Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. David Brown with you here from Wax Arena in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Byron Alexander going to the line for two for Northwest Missouri State. Beg your pardon, it's a one and one situation. And he misses the front end. Nearly stolen away by Hawkins. The Ichabods get it back. Lewis, the drive up and under. Nearly got the razzle dazzle. But once again, Northwest Missouri State forcing tough Washburn shots. Hudgens. Back to Hawkins. And Hawkins gets fouled on the three. Foul goes against Connor Defabaugh. So it'll be Hawkins at the line for three. Hawkins hits the first. Head coach for Northwest Missouri State, Ben McCollum, says Ryan can do a little bit of everything. Drive, post, calls him as versatile an athlete as there is in Division II. Says that versatility, a byproduct of just his energy. One of those proverbial high motor guys, runs hard, never wears down. And when you have a guy like that with his skill set, that's why he's been so successful. Hawkins buries all three. The lead is 24.
Here's Levi Brown. Guyman hangs and can't hit. Hudgens working against Guyman. Gonna get a reach in foul on Guyman. One in one situation here for Trevor Hudgens. The back-to-back -back player of the year in the MIAA. Hudgens hits the first. How's this for a career? Trevor Hudgens as a freshman was the MIAA's freshman of the year, made the first team, and was the most outstanding player of the Elite Eight when Northwest Missouri State won it all in 2019. Last season, conference player of the year, conference tournament MVP. This season, conference player of the year once again. Trevor Hudgens with one of the more remarkable careers in Division II basketball history. Raven Carter, his three is off. Alexander Skyn for the rebound. That's a deep three from Hawkins. Just off. Guyman puts it in with the left. Him and Alexander go tumbling. Wes Dreamer will try a three. In and out. We get a hand check foul here on Alexander. Johnny Clossing, Tyler Nelson set to check back in for Washburn. Guyman, back to Lewis. Carter driving in. Foul on the Bearcats. Gonna get Dreamer with the personal. So Raven Carter will go to the line. Jalen Lewis on the Washburn bench getting attended to for a cut. Just making sure there's no blood on the floor. Should be good to go. Carter hits the first. Carter originally from Oklahoma City. Goes one of two at the line. Hawkins lets it fire again. That one knocked out of bounds. It'll go back over to Washburn. <laughs> Hawkins certainly not afraid to let it fly. Game into tonight's ball game with 151 three-point attempts on the season in 25 games. So he averages right around six attempts per contest. Already reached that here in the first half. Clossing, tough angle.
They're going to reach and foul on Washburn. I beg your pardon, they're going to call a foul on Hudgens as he nearly turned it over in the backcourt and as he was trying to prevent the backcourt turnover, reached in. So that's going to be the second on Trevor Hudgens. Timeout on the floor, a little less than four minutes to go here in the first half, 33-12. to Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. You're watching the 2021 NCAA Division II Men's Central Region Semifinals. Welcome back, 3.59 to go in the first half. Bearcats 33, Ichabod's 12. Jalen Lewis at the line for Washburn. Misses the front end of the one and one. Hudgens, the floater, off glass, got fouled on the way down. So Hudgens to the line for the Bearcats. Hudgens buries the first. Hudgens Jr. originally from Manhattan, Kansas. We went through all his accomplishments through his first three seasons. He also plays more than anyone. Averages 37 minutes a game. Leads all of Division II in total minutes played this season. Guyman. Finds a cutting Carter. Carter finds Williams. Williams got the defenders in the air and flushed it down. Here's Hawkins. And an and one opportunity for Ryan Hawkins. A third foul on Jace Williams. So Ryan Hawkins with a chance to complete the three point play. Hawkins up to 18 now. The lead is 24. Guyman left that one short. Guyman's just had a hard time getting going. Only two points, one of eight from the field.
Hawkins. Nice feed inside to Waters, threading the needle. Stolen away by Hawkins. And then Lewis tried to get it back. It ricochets off and goes over to Northwest Missouri State. And I don't know if you saw it, but the officials changing basketballs. When there's a loose ball or something that goes past kind of this tier one, tier two zone, there's someone at the ready with a replacement basketball so they can clean off the one that goes out of bounds. Ben McCollum will take a timeout here for Northwest Missouri State. 146 to go in the first half and a 26 point edge for the Bearcats. Northwest Missouri State ranked number four in the Division II coaches poll. Washburn ranked number 17. Northern State, who moved on to the region championship earlier tonight, is number two in the coaches poll. Ben McCollum in his 12th season at the helm of Northwest Missouri State has just done an amazing job with this program. Former player for the Bearcats back in the early 2000s. And they have been a power for the past five, six years. Again, the most recent national champions in 2019 also won it all in 2017. And if you're a Bearcat fan, you could make the argument they might have won it in 2018 had their all-time leading scorer, Justin Pitts, not gotten hurt right before the tournament. He got hurt in the MIAA Tournament Championship, and then Northwest Missouri State lost in the first round of that regional to Minnesota State in Mankato. Wes Dreamer with the turnaround hook. Guyman rejected by Hawkins. Hudgens, the crossover, the hang, and the finish. It's a 30-point lead for the Bearcats. McKee, they're going to call a reaching foul on the Bearcats. I believe it's going to go against Isaiah Jackson. So that will send Will McKee to the line. One and one for Will McKee here. McKee hits the first. And the second. Eight and a half second difference shot clock and game clock here as we wind down the final 30 plus seconds of a first half that has been absolutely dominated by Northwest Missouri State. Hudgens. Working against McKee, step back three, short. Final seconds here of the opening half for Tyler Guyman and Washburn. Got, Hyman got caught up. Nelson, that three off the back iron as time expires. So we head into the locker room after the first 20 minutes and Northwest Missouri State 
with a 28-point lead at the break. The Bearcats, 44. The Ichabods from Washburn, 16. We will take a halftime break as well. Come back with the start of the second half in about 15 or so minutes. You're watching the 2021 NCAA Division II Men's Central Region Tournament from Aberdeen, South Dakota. CAA thanks our corporate champions, AT&T, Capital One, and Coca-Cola, and our corporate partners, Aflac, Buffalo Wild Wings, Buick, Geico, Great Clips, Invesco, Lowe's, Marriott, Nabisco, Nissan, Pizza Hut, Reese's, Uber Eats, Unilever, and Wendy's. Their support enhances NCAA championships and the educational and athletic experiences of nearly half a million NCAA student athletes. Chadwick Merriweather Harding. As I said. The NCAA would like to thank official equipment suppliers Connor Sports, Fiskers, Hilliard, Smitty, Spalding, Spec Seats, and Wilson Sporting Goods for their support of NCAA championships. Their contributions help enhance the educational and athletic experiences of nearly half a million NCAA student athletes. Fans, while you enjoy your time here in Wax Arena at Northern State University, help us in creating a safe environment for everyone by wearing your mask practicing physical distancing, and remaining in your assigned seat location. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated.
Welcome back to Aberdeen, South Dakota. Second half about to get underway here. 44-16, Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. Phenomenal first 20 minutes for the Bearcats. They shoot 60% from the field. Washburn just 23%. Bearcats plus eight on the glass. Four of 12 from the outside compared to just two of 11 for Washburn. And the first 20 minutes went about as well as any could go for Northwest Missouri State. Luke Waters in the corner for three. Great start to the second half now for the Bearcats. About the only thing that didn't go right for the Bearcats, Diego Bernard had to sit with a couple of personal fouls early in the ball game. We'll get a foul here on Ryan Hawkins. Will McKee open underneath, can't convert the reverse. It's been that kind of night for the Ichabods. Hudgens. Kick out to Hawkins. Skip over to West Dreamer, corner three. That splashes through. Lead up to 34 for the Bearcats. Largest of the ball game. Tyler Guyman, his layup doesn't go. Hawkins straight on three. Rattles in. Nine nothing start to this second half for Northwest Missouri State. The lead is 37. Tyler Nelson travels. Dreamer. Bernard to the offensive rebound, diving for the loose ball. And they're going to call a loose ball foul on Northwest Missouri State. Actually, they're just going to say Northwest Missouri State was out of bounds when they handled the loose ball. Guyman for three. Tapped out. Ichabods with another opportunity. Here's Nelson. Nelson travels again. Johnny Clossing back in for Washburn. Hawkins finds a cutting Diego Bernard, plus the foul. <laughs> Brett Ballard going deep into his bench, bringing Azeem Ross in. Azeem Ross has only played in nine games this season. Bernard puts it in, the lead is 40. Guyman, that one partially blocked by Dreamer. 
Going to get a reach in foul here on Dreamer. To put it in the context, the three previous games between these two teams were decided by a collected six points. Collective, excuse me. And the lead is 40. Unreal. Offensive foul on Connor Defabaugh. The lead for Northwest Missouri State is two and a half times the total points for Washburn. Hawkins, Luke Waters for three. Dreamer, the offensive rebound. Dreamer in the corner. That one hits the side of the backboard. Clausing down low. Back out, Defabaugh. That three rattles in. Washburn finally on the board here in the second half. Hudgens behind the back, the scoop and the finish. Defabaugh short on that three. Hudgens. Sutter step, drive, up and in, yes sir! Fifteen sixteen to go in the second half. I welcome all of your Apollo Creed of Drago gifts. 60 to 19, Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. Little more than 15 minutes to go in the ball game. 60 to 19. Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. And the Ichabods just got called for an offensive foul. They're gonna get Ross. Here's Bernard. Nice find to Alexander. Great cut.
Defaball driving baseline. Tried to feed Clausing. Northwest Missouri State comes out of the pack with it. Dreamer open for three. The lead is 46. Clausing can't hit the hook. Washburn trying anything right now, including a zone defense. Hudgens for three. In and out. Chase for the loose ball. It's going to result in the third personal foul on Diego Bernard. Washburn, honestly, just looks shell-shocked right now and can't blame him. Hudgens with the steal. He'll slow things down here. Hawkins, skip pass to Bernard. Dreamer for three. Clossing the board. Bernard reaching in, nearly stole it away. Guyman got it back. Guyman, offensive foul. Dreamer took the charge. Tyler Nelson back in, Shannon Cordes, number 22, into the game for the first time, all tournament. Dreamer on the high-low. Reach and foul on Dreamer. No one for Washburn has more than six points. Get a blocking foul here on Hudgens. Northwest Missouri State shooting 61% from the field. Washburn, 21%. Bearcats have hit eight threes. Ichabod's just three from downtown. Up and down the stat sheet, just domination from Northwest Missouri State. Again, these two teams played two overtime games in the regular season, and then the MIAA Tournament Championship was won on a half-court buzzer beater for a one-point victory for Washburn. Even the most objective basketball observer could not have predicted this as Levi Brown misses everything. Northwest Missouri State has two losses this season, both to this team they're currently beating by 48. Hawkins in the corner for three. The lead is 51. Shannon Cordes shorts the layup. Yeah. 
Alexander underneath the reverse. Shannon Cordes splashes in a three to cut the lead back down to 50. Again, a bit of a hybrid zone look from Washburn. Trying anything right now to stop the hot shooting of the Bearcats. Dreamer, short, Alexander gets the put back, and then an inadvertent whistle. They're gonna call a shot clock violation. I thought that hit the rim. They're gonna say Alexander's putback was not in time. The initial shot didn't hit rim, but Alexander's putback did, and they're saying that came after the shot clock expired. They will go to the monitor here. If we're being honest, it's academic at this point, but nevertheless, you wanna get the call right. Again, the initial shot by Dreamer did not draw iron, but Byron Alexander was there for a putback. And so they're double checking to see if the putback got off in time. Ryan Hawkins leads all scorers with 24 points right now for Northwest Missouri State. West Dreamer with 17, Trevor Hudgens with 14. Luke Waters with eight, Byron Alexander with six, Diego Bernard with three. And they are gonna say it is not a shot clock violation. So it is Northwest Missouri State's possession with 18 on the shot clock. Essentially they said the shot clock should have reset after Alexander's miss, and then two seconds went off of that. So Bearcat possession with 18 to shoot. And actually they are now changing it to 20 on the shot clock. Hawkins will just let it fly. Then knocked out of bounds by Alexander. Cornis, the drive, rejected by Hawkins, but I believe they're gonna get a foul on the drive on Daniel Abreu. So it'll be Shannon Cordis going to the line. Cordis hits the first, 6'4", senior, originally from Lawrence, Kansas. Cordes had only played in 12 of Washburn's previous 26 games. Averages just about five minutes per game in those contests, but Brett Ballard looking for any sort of spark offensively, and Cordes has five. Abreu travels.
Jalen Lewis, the floater from the baseline falls for Lewis. Hawkins got fouled on the drive. Foul on Lewis. Hawkins, skip pass over to Bernard for three. Off the back iron, Hawkins the offensive rebound, and then the reach and foul on Tyler Guyman for Washburn. Hawkins nails the straight on three. Seventh three of the ball game for Ryan Hawkins. Stolen away. Here come the Bearcats. Bernard, the Euro step, and he gets it off glass. <laughs> that pass goes out of bounds. Timeout on the floor. 77-26. Northwest Missouri State hanging on to a 51 point lead over Washburn. than eight minutes to go in this one. 77-26. Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. Here's Bernard. Step back three, off the back iron. Alexander can't get the offensive rebound. Nelson steals it away for the Ichabods. Guyman. Cordes had it poked away. Turnover to the Bearcats.
Daniel Abreu for three. Just his ninth three of the entire season. Guyman for three. That one rattles in for Tyler Guyman. Alexander, the drive, got it to go. Impressive move by Byron Alexander. And then Bernard gets the steal, runs into the official. Nelson rattles in a three. Bernard still kind of trying to deal with the hit to his body ran straight into the official. And Bernard will take a seat here. Bearcats at this point with five and a half to go, emptying their bench. Obviously you hope that Bernard is okay. Inadvertent contact just happened to run right into an official. But all subs in right now for Northwest Missouri State. Here's Isaiah Jackson. Foul committed by Jalen Lewis. So one and one here for Isaiah Jackson. That one offline. Raven Carter. Ichabod's working back out. Here's Nelson driving. Nice move by Tyler Nelson. Shot clock under 10 here for Mitch Mascari. Foul on the drive. Foul's gonna go against Will McKee. So Mitch Mascari will go to the line for the Bearcats. the back iron. Rebound goes to Isaiah Thorne. As he brings it up for the Ichabods. Guyman, the spin in the lane. Another layup left short. He'll stay with Washburn. Here's Thorne on the drive. Isaiah Thorne with an opportunity for a three-point play for the Ichabods.
Mascari in the corner for three. Fight for the offensive rebound taken by Thorne for Washburn. Isaiah Thorne stops and pops a three. Derek Lang for three. Three minutes to go in this one. Thorne will pop it again. Here's Jackson, Lang, Derek Lang off on that three. Thorne will try it again, short. Gonna get a reach in foul here on Jalen Lewis. Two fifteen to go. This one's over. It's just not done yet. Eighty-two to forty. Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. Two fifteen to go in this one. 82 to 40. Northwest Missouri State on top of Washburn. Isaiah Jackson at the line for the Bearcats. Jackson hits the first. And the second. The lead is 44. It was once as large as 54. Poked away and stolen. Christian Stanislav with the steal. Jackson will go to the line once again. Blocking foul called on Michael Keegan. So our championship game on Tuesday is a heavyweight prize fight. Northwest Missouri State versus Northern State. The number four and the number two ranked teams in all of Division II will meet in the Central Region Championship. The last time they played, November 3rd, 2018. It was a preseason multiple conference tournament. 
And Northwest Missouri State won in overtime over Northern State 72-70. There will be some familiar faces in that game on both sides. Andrew Coleman, Parker Fox, and Jordan Belka all played in that game for Northern State. For Northwest Missouri State, that was the year they won the national championship, the 18-19 season. So Trevor Hudgens, Ryan Hawkins, Diego Bernard were on that team as well. So a lot of familiarity. And when you consider the landscape of Division II over the past four seasons as Carter gets fouled on the drive, this is a matchup years in the making. 2017, Northwest Missouri State won it all. 2018, Northern State got to the championship game. 2019, Northwest Missouri State won it all again, their second title in three years. Of course, we did not have a tournament last season in 2020 due to the pandemic. So the two teams that will match up in the region final have played in each of the last three national championship games. It is simply remarkable this kind of matchup that we get, especially considering it will determine just who goes to the Elite Eight. Abreu off on the baseline, reaching foul on Lang. You have to believe whoever wins on Tuesday night between the Bearcats and the Wolves would be the favorite to win the national championship. This central region is something else. And if you go back even further, Central Missouri, they won it all in 2014. Augustana won it all in 2016. And I already mentioned 17, 18, 19. So in five of the last six Division II tournaments, the winner of the Central Region has reached the championship game five times and has won it all four times. The depth in this region is unparalleled. And we will be rewarded Tuesday night, as I mentioned, with a heavyweight bout between Northwest Missouri State, the defending national champions, and Northern State, who came within a fraction of winning it all three years ago. That one off the back iron for Mascari. Final minute here. Raven Carter puts it back up and in. Derek Lang will dribble out the final seconds. Three close games earlier this season. Not this time. The scoreboard giving a little more credit, but the final is officially 85. Now they change it, 85 to 44. Northwest Missouri State over Washburn. The Ichabods fall to 20 and seven to end their season. Northwest Missouri State improves to 24 and two. So as I mentioned, Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, right here at Walks Arena, the Central Region Tournament Championship between the top two seeds in the region. Number two, Northwest Missouri State. Number four in the coaches' poll. Number one, Northern State. Number two in the coaches' poll. The Bearcats and the Wolves will fight for the right to go to the Division II Elite Eight. We have a fantastic ball game for you coming up in a little less than 48 hours. Thank you to our entire production crew here at Walks Arena in Aberdeen and at Northern State. My name is David Brown. Thank you for watching Central Region Tournament Basketball from Aberdeen. Volcanoes in the heavens and every